Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it is Come Make With Me. And today, we're talking about the overlay mosaic. I'm also going to talk about a challenge I accepted, and I'm doing really bad at. So, um, overlay mosaic, um, Mary and I are doing the um, mosaic in a month from Juniper and Oaks. And I have slowed down on it just because my arm got tired crocheting, but I'm still trying to do at least two rows a day. So as a reminder, uh, first of all, this is pretty much my wingspan, so it's approximately 60 inches wide. Um, might be a little bit less, don't know. Anyway, got the red section and the orange and the yellow and the green and the blue and let's see how far I have gone in the purple that's how far I've made it guys that's where I'm at and then back is the stripes uh, I think the blue section looks extra cool but um so yeah uh, that's how far I've gotten after the purple section, I'll be doing another blue section. I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Um, if you don't know overlay mosaic crochet, you start at one end of your project, you crochet all the way across, you leave a bunch of ties. You start at one end, crochet across, tie it off. Go back to the beginning, crochet across, tie it off. You do back loop and front loop, or Back loop single crochets, front loop double crochets, a couple rows below. It's all perfect. It's actually really easy, but also kind of fun. So even though I'm making a blanket and it's mostly single crochets and double crochets, I'm actually enjoying it, which usually I get really bored. Um, I do have to say every once in a while you have to do a full line of single crochets or full line of double crochets, and those ones are the hardest rows for me to get through. But it is a lot of fun. Um, you can leave the edges and just kind of have a fringy look on the edges, which I think is cool sometimes. But um, there's also an envelope border, which I'm going to try with this one. So um, that is my overlay mosaic project. And now um, let's talk about <sighs> Shannon of Another Yarn. I love that woman. She's a delight. And she talked about doing kind of a challenge, challenging. She talks about doing it as a challenge, but really what she's saying is challenge yourself. Um, she's challenging herself and doing much better at it than, than anyway. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna make a sweater. I'm gonna try this 10 grams a day challenge. I am positive I have knit over 10 grams a day, sorry. My um, son has an, a class in 10 minutes. This is the alarm to make sure that he goes to his class. And my phone takes so long for the thing to come up so you can dismiss it, so it's kind of annoying. But, um, so, I have this gorgeous pattern. And I started over at least six times on it. I tried changing this and changing that, and like, I don't know why the counts weren't working out. It was ridiculous. It was so incredibly stressful. And then I was like, okay, well then I'm gonna find another picture. I mean, at least the yarn, or another pattern, at least the yarn's pretty, so. If it's not as gorgeous of a pattern, it will be okay, but I really want to make this other one. So I kind of resigned myself to making this other one. And then um, I got like this far on the collar of it and I was like, this is annoying. I don't like this. <laughs> so I ended it again. Oh my gosh, seriously. Like I said, I guarantee I have knit 20 grams of yarn and I have like hardly anything to show for it. I'm not gonna go grab it, but I have um, three rows, three rows down because I went back, I went and grabbed a new ball of yarn. I thought I'll just start with a new ball of yarn, 
set these ones aside and just work with the new ball of yarn till I get past the yoke and then I'll come in and do my um, helical knitting which I had already tried to not do helical knitting I was like I don't know enough about it now I know it's just not worth it in a pattern section because basically for every length that you are reducing your stitches you end up with an incomplete row and so it throws off um, patterns but that wasn't my problem that was the real problem was the counts were off and so anyway so uh, right now as it stands on row three, which I've never got, I, like the farthest I've gotten is, I think I was trying to do row five. But so far, my counts are correct. So hopefully I have something to show you next week. <sighs> so that's it. That Those are the things that I'm working on. I'm including Shannon's challenge in this video because it's something I'm kind of doing with her. She's challenged me, so I'm, I'm yeah. Anyway, um, remember, if you want to join us tomorrow for the, the yarn party, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, send me an email and I will send you the link. Um, it would be really fun to have you um, join us and, and knit, crochet, do nothing, chat, embroider, I don't care what you do. But it would really be really fun if you came and visited with us and um, we're just meeting for an hour. I'll be on for an hour so if you can't come at 9 or at 10 but you could come at 10 30 I'll be there. Um, again that's mountain time. Ah yes and remember to hook that subscribe button, like the video, and leave some yarn in the comments. Tell me what you're working on. Tell me, have you ever done mosaic crochet? And are you doing the 10 gram a day yarn challenge with Shannon? Anyway, I just like to remind you to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.